Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal. So, Joined by my partner, Nikki Snacks. And as always, we will be giving you our best bets for this week's NFL action. Action for week eight. Halloween. Halloweeny. Today is Halloween. Now, normally, seen this. normally we the, put a little, the, the, uh, hold on, I want to, real quick, normally we would have a costume on right now, because it is technically Halloween today. Yeah, I was going to address that. So I beat you to it. Sharp minds. We're on, we're on fire lately. Sharp minds are, yeah, you, you know, yeah, you, you could say it. You cut me off, you steal my thunder. But anyway, yeah, so uh, Halloween, normally we would dress up, but today is a special occasion. Today is what dreams are made of, and... Myself and my partner over here, Mr. Snacks. We both went 3-0, combining for a total of 6-0 for the show. Uh, very good. I believe our underdog props also hit. 2-0. So that was another uh, 3X. So we basically won you like $6 million if you went all in this week. So congratulations to done. those of you that did. Let's and see that's, if why, we that's can, why we're suited up. That's let's why see, well, yeah, when, you dress, when, when, you're, when, when you're undefeated, when, you, you suit up. Well, the people who watch the show know that when you go 3-0... You dress for the new listeners. three and zero for the new listeners. There's no new listeners, no new viewers. Well, then that's sad. There's no new viewers. It's really sad. <laughs> okay, here's the deal for the new viewers out there. I'm going to start us off with the first pick of the week. So here's the thing about all my picks this week, though. Before I get into it, all my picks this week, it's like this is either a zero and three week or a three and zero week. I kind of agree. With this right? Thing. Like that's how I. F- and that's how I designed this board. And I think there's a reason why. Oh, no. It's going to be an 0-3. It's going to be an 0-3 week, baby. <laughs> All right. First first game. Titans at the Colts plus three. We're going with the dog. We're going with the Titans. Look, uh, there's a lot of hype right now around the Titans. But there's a lot of hype around my man Carson Wentz, too. So that's the only reason I think this line is, is really this close. I get it. The Colts are the home team. Division game. It's basically for the division. Like I feel like whoever wins this game basically yeah, the is Titans gonna, gonna win. The division, a, like regardless. if the Titans, well, if the Titans win this game, they lock it up basically. Like right now, yeah, it's like fair. the earliest. This division is the Colts lock. like last grasp. Yeah, to try and win the division. They already got beat by the uh, Titans twenty five sixteen earlier this week. It was like week three. Earlier Derek, this week. Earlier this year, I believe it was week three. Derek Henry went for eighty six yards last week. Uh, he went for one hundred thirteen against the Colts in week three. So last week he didn't go for a hundred. What does that tell you about Derrick Henry this week? He's going for a hundred. He's going for a hundred plus yards. Lock it in. That means it's going to be a big game, big, big close game. Maybe they cover. Maybe they win. I think they definitely cover. Colts, Titans, Titans plus three. Titans plus three. It's simple. Well, I don't hate it because the Titans have Derrick Henry. I don't know overall, top to bottom, if their roster is better, but they have Derrick Henry, the MVP of the league. So, good bet. I'm going to get this one out of the way real quick. Um, I'm in a blue suit. Team I root for is blue. Team I root for plays on Monday night against the Kansas City Chiefs, who are this proverbial powerhouse juggernaut team. But they st- they stink. And I think you might have called this earlier in the season. I said they're a fraud team. They are a you fraud team. I don't... I, I'm, the whole I'm audience ta- laughed. I'm they fuck you, the, you all laughed. I am taking the Giants plus 10 on the road in Arrowhead hey, on Monday night. Kansas City should not, maybe except for the Jaguars, maybe. I don't know. They should not be favored by 10 points right now. Their defense is a sieve. It's disgusting. Patrick Mahomes and that offense turns the ball over way too much. Incredibly too much. They're going to score, yes. But I think the Giants can score with them. And not... Obviously with them, but I think they can keep it within reason. A couple turnovers. Double digits. Yeah, exactly. It's a double-digit game. Ten points. I think it's going to come down to the wire, which means the Giants cover. We're taking the Giants plus ten on our head against the Fraud Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes. By the way, Patrick Mahomes' brother, Jackson Mahomes, like that... Uh, Dancing? Yeah, the dancer. Not a fan? First of all, no, I'm not a fan. Second of all, Patrick Mahomes... It hates his life. He's got to pull a Rodgers. He, he has to pull a Rodgers. got to pull a Rodgers. And I think that's going to f*** with him, and I'm going to Maybe take, that's what is f***ing with him. It very well could be. I think I think Jackson Mahomes and Pat Mahomes' wife have a little thing going on, by the way. I don't. I don't. You ever uh, see the way Jackson moves? 
He's six six, dude. It's 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 a, it's a shame boy. he's just wasting that genetics on dancing. But you know, it's whatever. It's his decision. Um, Giants plus ten. I'll tell you what. And money line. Like, can I say something about that pick? Yeah. Tell you something about that pick. I was gonna make the Giants my big lock this week. Wow. I was gonna do it. So you like the so pick? That's, if you guys, you, you know, like if you know pick. me, you know I'm a sharp because we didn't even say what our records were. We just said no, we went three and zero. Oh, yeah. But I was like eleven and seven, so that means I'm 11, 12, 13, 14 and seven now. Look at that. Look at I don't even know what I am. Nine and twelve, maybe. Here I come. They'll bring it up the rear. Yeah. But still, bring that's up the rear. That's good Jackson assurance. Mahomes. It's good reassurance for you. Okay. My second pick. And here's this. Here's what this pick is. This is a probability pick. It's just bound to happen eventually. I think this is the week it does. We got the Eagles at the Lions. Another plus pick. We're going plus three and a half Lions. Uh, it's simple. Lock it up. Lions. They have heart. They showed you. They listen. They have heart. They do. Last week against Great the cover. Rams. Great cover against the Rams. That first of all, it was too easy of the of a spread. I said I loved it. You said you loved it. That was an easy pick. I love that game. Plus three and a half. I think they they win this game outright. I think they do. I think this is the week. This is what I'm saying. It's the probability pick. They're they're gonna have to win. Well, they're gonna win one game this year. Will they're they? gonna do it. No, they're gonna do it. And this could be the week. And if it's not, it's probably gonna be a close game. And they probably cover. They probably cover. That's really it. That's all I have for it. I don't want to. It's a probability pick. It's a probability pick. Like the probability of them winning. Philly stinks. Like yeah, yeah. 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 I got you. Detroit's at home, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Home dog. Yeah, I like this. Home dog, probability pick. And you, if they lose, it's going to be by the hook. They'll lose by three. And that's fine. You, exactly. You cover. I like that's the fine. That's like fine with me. Lock. We'll take that. We'll take that all the way to the bank lines, plus three and a half to go 2-0 and oh on the card. There's going to be a theme, I think, all, all, all show here, because there's another dog pick coming your way, people. And that's Carolina plus three at Atlanta. So Carolina has struggled mightily the last three weeks. We all thought... You know, the 3-0 start, whatever they were. Oh, Sam Darnold turned the corner. Great hair. Did this, did that, blah, 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 blah. Atlanta has not been playing awful. A miraculous win, come back from behind in Miami last week. That's an emotional roller coaster of a win. Carolina just got, you know, pissed f- by the Giants on my turf. I was there. I think, it's, I think they're due for a bounce back, and I think Carolina's D-line is going to be a little bit too much for that Atlanta offensive line to hold up on. Matt Ryan is not a mobile quarterback. He's not going to get out of the pocket, nothing. So Carolina's defensive line is going to terrorize Matt Ryan all game. They don't really have much of a running game outside of Cordell Patterson, who was a receiver. I'm taking Carolina in a bounce back, plus three. I don't think the Falcons should ever be favored in any game ever, 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 which is now two in a row, uh, which is just insane to me because I think Atlanta stinks. I could be wrong. Uh, Carolina's not much better, but I think giving three in a division game, I'm taking Carolina... Plus three. And that's, as you could tell by, by uh, my voice, it's not the most confident I've ever been, but I love it. I love it. They're going to win that one. Carolina, plus three. All right, cool. Uh, I have no faith in uh, Sam Darnold, so. That's yeah, yeah, see, that's, that's my thing. I, I don't really either, but I think this is the right spot for a bounce back game. All right, pretty cool. A lot of Matt Rule rumblings that he doesn't want to be in the NFL. I think they shut people up. They beat Atlanta on the road. All right, also, next week I want to announce before we get over to the underdog play of the day, uh, let's, get a, let's, get a, let's get a big dog pick. Yeah, come on. Let's get a big dog in. pick. Send one in, bagelslocks at gmail.com. That's bagelslocks at gmail.com. I just got it up on the screen for you there. If you're afraid to show your face, just put the camera down and say something. We need no, picks. No, f- that. I want to see your face. I mean, yeah. But, you know. No, f*** that. Listen, f- that the, shit. the Zodiac Killer is one of the most... Prominent men in U.S. history. He never showed his face. There's sketches. At least show me a sketch of your face. Um, okay, let's head over to the other studio for the underdog play of the day. Oh, right. Brought to you by Underdog. Fancy. Thanks, guys. Uh, today we got the underdog play of the day presented by Underdog Fancy. You can uh, download the app in the App Store, or you can go to the website, underdogfancy.com, and sign up there, promo code BDGE. And for new users, you get 100 bucks. Like, you got to deposit 100 It's the deposit match. Wow. The deposit match. That's good. The deposit match. The deposit match. 100% deposit match up to $100. Up to 100 Maybe that's what it is. It also could be something else. I didn't read the promo, but you should look at it and something like that. Good info. My first pick, our pick, you could buy them. My pick is Len- Uncle Lenny. 
Leonard Fournette, 58 and a half rushing yards. You, uh... He's my uncle. He's your uncle. He's all our uncles. And we're going to be rooting for him to go over 58 and a half rushing yards. Nice. We're going to stick with the rushing yards. And Miles Sanders is out. He sucks. Kenneth Gainwell steps in as Philly's running back. And we're going over 33 and a half yards rushing for Kenneth Gainwell. It's a steal. I think so, too. Yeah. And you bet both of these. You combine both of these for 3x multiplier. Back to you guys. <laughs> Jesus. Smoke more weed, Adam. Seriously. No, it's a, Smoke more I weed. I was burping. I didn't want him yeah. talking burping. Wait, real quick. Can we, can we have this in there? Quick birthday shout out to our editor, Ike. Thank you, Ike. Was, happy birthday, buddy. Day. Yeah, I know, but it's his birthday weekend, so happy birthday, Ike. That's not okay. All right, thanks for that uh, uh, underdog pick, guys. It was a great pick. Uh, hit last week. Hopefully hit again this week. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, you hear that sound? No. It was a spooky one this week, I think. Maybe. Did you hear it? It was over there. Oh. It sounded spooky, right, Ike? I think you made it spooky this week. Yeah, I don't oh, care. Oh, there, there it is I again. Got it. I got it. I got it. I got it's a it. spooky sound it. this week for Halloween. It. It's time. For the big look. Oh, that's creepy too. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw it. Right. Yeah. Hold on. All right. Hold on. I got pop. They're creepy and they're spooky. They're all together, Loopy. Uh oh. The Adams family. Pop, pop. All right. Ba, 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 ba. Lucky here. We got a nice. Game for you here. I'm sticking with the theme of all my picks. We're going with the dog. And you know what is... Um, a lot of dogs lot, today. You know what is a relative of the dog? A relative of the dog? Yeah. I think I know where you're going with this. What? The werewolf. Ah, uh, woo. The, the moon. London. And the moon is out. Uh, and the woo. werewolves are coming. All these dogs are going to hit. My final dog is... The Patriots at the Chargers, plus four and a half. Look, the Patriots, the dogs here, and look, look, look at this. It's red, white, and blue for the this, Patriots. Oh, I get it. Real America's team. Well, yeah, not the Cowboys. I almost picked the Cowboys this week, but there's a lot going on there. So, but uh, aside from the prop, here, just can you keep hitting RWB in that order? Yeah, thank you. So the Patriots uh, at the Chargers plus four and a half. Look, Chargers never really have a home field advantage, so I don't care about them. Uh, I think they win this game outright, to be honest with you. Uh, but we're going to take the points plus four and a half here. Pat's doing Pat's things. Uh, Bill Belichick turning uh, guys, no-name guys, into a winning team. This is just what he does. And the defense is finally starting to click now. Uh, red, white, blue, moonlight. Let's go. Patriots plus four and a half. Happy Halloween. That's how it's done. You, you done? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Nice pick. Who'd you take? I made it green so Wait. I can put something on it if you want. No, f*** that. I don't want green. No, I don't want green. Actually, yeah. Put green on because we're about to make some goddamn money. I'm taking the Steelers plus four on the rope. Green screen. This is a revenge game for Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's playing well right now. The Browns are beat up. Baker's playing. Baker's a fraud. Baker's a p***. Baker's a loud mouth. He sucks. Baker sucks. The defense for the Steelers is finally engaged. They're finally here. They're finally rumbling. Ben still sucks. That's fine. But we're getting plus four in a divisional round, in a divisional game. And this, again, this is a revenge game. We always talk about revenge games. The Browns embarrassed the Steelers in the playoffs last year. Okay? The Browns talked a lot of shit about the Steelers after last year. Now... We're going to see a beaten, battered, bruised Browns team fall to the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I think the Browns' demise is going to keep going and going and going. I, the writing's been on the wall, and I think it gets cemented today. Steelers, plus four, on the road. 
against the Browns. I also saw a Mike Tomlin underdog stat. Ah, uh, yes. He, it's he, like 40 in 10 or something insane. like that. It's insane. Yeah, it's insane. 40 in like 7 against the spread. Yes. Or like That's a great stat. When he's yep. an underdog. So, yeah. They, um, said that, they said that on the, the Michael K commercial. In a, maybe another 6-0 and week this week. Who knows? Stay tuned. Wait, wait. Real quick. Real quick. What? what you real got? quick. You could parlay my three picks oh. for a plus 595. And I'm not even kidding when I say this. The money line parlay is plus 2852. I would sprinkle on that. It's 2,852. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'm going to sprinkle all my money line, too. Because cr- it, it's three dogs, so you figure, you, you know. Well, mine are good picks, too. You think mine are bad? Giants won't win. You don't think so? Uh, probably not. Like, I'm going to make sure to clip that. I'm just saying. Just in case. I think the Giants win. I like the Giants. This is one I told you, they're my big lock, but I just don't think they win. That's the show. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Please comment your big locks down below. Happy Halloween. Eat some f- candy. I like 100 grand bars. Those are good. They're very good. Uh, Kit Kats are another good yes, one. Crunch. Love those. And, uh, Go take your kids trick-or-treating. It's like a lost art. Go take them out. Okay, and, please. Uh, Butterfinger BBs. Dots is it slept on. Everyone hates dots. Dots suck. Uh, suck. Bagels and locks. Suck. Locks. Bagels. <laughs>